Would you teach about uh, multiple genders and transgenders I in not preschool? Specifically teach about it, but I would include it. I wish somebody would have come to my child in the second grade, kindergarten, whatever, and trying to teach them about sexuality. Oh no, you don't. What's going on everyone? James Klug here. Teachers and third party participants in the state of Florida can no longer teach children kindergarten through third grade about sexual orientation or gender identity in a way that is not age appropriate. Now the left is pushing back hard against this, labeling it the don't say gay bill. Now today we're in Laguna Beach, California, and we're going to see where people stand on this. Let's go talk to some people. Parental rights and education bill passed in Florida bans uh, teachers and third party participants from teaching K through third grade about uh, sexual orientation and gender identity. In the bill, it says uh, discussions that are not age appropriate. Are you guys for it or are you against it? I'm against it. I think that there is a developmentally appropriate way to teach inclusivity to all children. So. And then do you agree with her or do you disagree? Yeah, no, I agree. Do you guys support that? for K through third grade, or do you not? No, you absolutely don't. not. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't support the bill, correct? I don't support that, no. I'm a little bit more ambivalent. Um, I think certain things can wait till kids are a little bit older before you start talking about gender reassign reassignment and such like. I think it's a bad idea. I don't see what's wrong with pronouns. If we're gonna ban pronouns, should we ban verbs and nouns as well? What they're talking about is teaching children about, you know, multiple genders that boys can transition absolutely, into girls. Absolutely. Um, We're so human beings. We have our rights. We have a right to be who we want to be. I, I think it's less about people have the right to do something and, and, and more of yeah. talking about the, because they're banning it, banning the conversations that aren't age appropriate, like, for example, no, transitioning your gender with, with like surgeries pre K with through third grade. You don't yeah. agree with banning that pre K through third That's grade. Is that right. correct? That's right. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm clear, I, I'm clear no, on that. No, I do not believe in banning that. Basically, I don't think it's any of the school's business to like restrict topics that involve you trying to just find yourself as a child or whoever. So, is it the parents' business? It's yeah, that's something that, you know, it's just an open topic that should be open to everyone. And I don't think there should be any form of restriction. I think if there's a restriction, then there's some kind of uh, it's just going to be negative, like there's nothing good that's going to come out of that. An example of that would be teaching kids about uh, how you can start treatments to start transitioning the appearance of your gender. That right. would be an example of like what they would have as illegal right. in the state of Florida. Do you think that's a good idea or do you think that's a bad idea? It's an interesting thing. I think that there's a deeper philosophical conversation to have about that, of what role is it of the teacher to be able to teach that specific information. Whether it's appropriate or not, or whether it should be legal or not, it doesn't seem relevant to the type of education to be taught. A little extreme, yeah, do you mean, think? It just doesn't, yeah, I mean, it, it's like, I remember learning about uh, math and history and different things like that. It well, that's not important, though. Right. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we should be talking to children about transgenderism yeah, or no? no? No, you should not be talking to children about transgender. They're children, and that's what they need to be. Uh-oh, children. They need to be children. That's not something that I feel that first teachers should be talking to anybody's child about, but I'm old school, I'm old broad. You don't do that. I don't even think that children know what transgender is. They don't even know what their sexuality is. Do you think that that's a good deal, a good idea to leave that conversation up to the parents? Or do you think that it's a good idea for them to be starting to teach it right off the bat, K through third grade? I think I know where you're leaning. Let's let's hear it. Yeah. Well, I think it should be an open conversation. If you're not teaching it, you should be open to talking about it at least. And what do you think? I'm, a, I'm more of a, that's a parent's uh, position to teach that kind of thing. We together? We're not going to be for very long. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we are together, yeah, yeah. It's better to come from the parent or the teachers. I, yeah, I so think it's good. They're fighting for it to be up to the parents to be talking about uh, transitioning your gender and you know your sexual orientation no, instead of the it, school. I but think you think the school is... No, I think it's appropriate good. for the schools to let kids know because they're going to meet other kids that maybe are transgender or whatever they choose to be in life. And then they'll have an understanding of that. I, I think it's great. You put things in their heads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's for a parent to do. You know, your child doesn't know whether or not he's a boy or a girl. He just knows he wants to go out and have fun. 
and he wants to play. And that's all a child should be concerned with, is playing. Maybe Not... squeezing some coloring books in there. Exactly. Whatever video games and out and about, out here, but not concerned with their sexuality in kindergarten, in first grade, second grade, third grade. I don't think that's right, and it should be banned. Nobody should be talking to anybody's child about sexuality except their parents. I'm all about um, those rights for people, especially as they mature later on in life. No question about it, but to be relevant for education at that time frame, I don't necessarily agree with that. I'd say 90% of the time we, we agree on for sure. most most liberal uh, type of situations. But I'm a teacher. This, this one so just came up recently. So What grade are you teaching? Teach preschool. Would you teach about uh, multiple genders and transgenders in preschool? I would specifically teach about it, but I would include it because I'm not really teaching at preschool. I'm including things for children to talk about and bring up. Just looking at it, if I was a parent, how would I feel about that? I don't think that that's the right, that, that that's the responsibility of the educational system to teach those things at that age. Do you think that's appropriate to talk to children about Absolutely. transitioning their gender? Absolutely, if it's part of their life and something that comes up in their life or the life of their friends. I don't think everyone agrees about these gender identities that are out. Uh, not everyone obviously agrees about, uh, you know, convincing or telling children that they should be able to transition at an early age. Mm -hmm. I think later on in your life it kind of turns into a different conversation for most people. Mm -hmm. But we have come across people today that are saying absolutely teach them K through th third grade mm -hmm. about transgenderism, transge uh, transitioning because it's inclusive they said. What do you think? No, because I think when you're a child you're already inclusive. You don't know. Little boys will hug little boys. Little girls will hug little girls. You don't teach a child their sexual orientation. Nobody is going to teach my child about any kind of identification with anything. Once they have established and, and they're in a, you know, old enough that they understand it, like, okay, your child comes to you as a teenager, they're 13, 14, they're understanding. Mom, I'm not attracted to, you know, girls. Yeah. I'm attracted to guys. Okay, son, let's talk about this. And I think they're too young. You think they're too young? Yes, I think it's... K should. through third grade is too young for that? Absolutely. I don't want my son to get, have this... He's a, they're already so sensitive. They already have so much information right now. And it may make them more confused. It's just my opinion. Do you support that or do you not support that? I don't that? support it all. Yeah. I hate Trump. <laughs> I don't like the, the governor well, of Florida. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, the kids need to learn. They need to be educated about history, you know, about any type of... Um, Sex, you know, sexual orientation, things like that. I think when they're very impressionable, you teach, you could teach, you can mold a child to anything. You can mold a child to be racist. You can mold a child to be um, sexually inclusive to others. You can, a child can be molded because that's their mindset. They're they're young. Just let them grow. Let them be. I'll be damned. I'm glad that my children are older now, because there would not have been. I wish somebody would have come to my child in the second grade, kindergarten, whatever, and trying to teach them about sexuality. Oh, no, you don't. Not acceptable. Because now you're bridging the gap of parental rights. You're a teacher. Teach my child. Teach my child school things, ABCs. They need to figure out on their own. I don't want grown-ups telling children what they should be, what they should wear, how they should behave. Of course, there's certain uh, uh, we have certain rules and restrictions, I understand, but they need to figure out on their own. Because the parents aren't doing a good job. Parents, parents, parents are definitely not doing a good job. So People that we've spoken with today have said teaching kids that they can transition their gender through maybe hormone treatments or anything like that is a little extreme. I don't think they're teaching them to do that. I think they're just like bringing up that they can that they can I personally think it should be we should wait till after third grade. I mean, but after third, after third, after third grade for them to realize their own identity and who they really are. I don't think they should teach any sex at that age. Um, it's just a, not an appropriate topic. I want to know, do you disagree with anything that she just said? No, actually my degree is in elementary education, so yeah. yes, I would have never thought to teach kids politics, religion, sexuality. And you're a teacher, or right now, or no? No, that's what my degree is. I'm not teaching right now. You're no. not teaching right now. Yeah, to me, kids do know at kindergarten through third grade what their sexuality is. Really? You think from, so? From their parents, yes. I think, like, my, my granddaughter's five. She knows she's a little girl. 
I'm not yes, sure. Yes, I'm not, yes, she, yes. She, she yeah. I'm talking about sexuality. Not right. But she knows saying, they know the difference right. between a girl right. and a boy. Right. You know, at home, home but not out. Is. Not out right away. So you guys think it should yeah, be more of a parental thing little, instead of a right, hey, school. the teacher the has the responsible for teaching everything in school, right? I think it's just they're too young already to understand anything, and then I think after third, then they're okay to understand a little bit better. If you don't like the fact that they're bringing that subject up in the classrooms, then take your child out and homeschool them. I don't think it's appropriate yeah, about, at, I wouldn't for that age. That. So just in the basic just, level. Basic saying, level, yeah. no sex, period. Uh, yeah, no, no, not at all. No, but in a, high school, I think it's free for all and you should learn and the internet's out there and they're learning at that age, so. To me, it still should be little girls line up to go to the girls room, little boys line up to go to the boys room. Yes. That to me should still be a separate thing, yes. not one restroom for all. I don't think it's really indoctrination. I don't, I don't think that they're trying to, you know, um, I, I don't, I just don't think it's as serious as they say it is. Parental rights as a whole, to me, they're just being infringed upon. That's my child. When you get other people coming in, I don't care if it's government, I don't care, like, my best friend. I raise, you know, my child the way that I want to, you know? Um, you don't do that. It's not right to me. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So we got a lot of different responses. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this way too much for children K through third grade to handle? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And hit that bell notification button so you're notified next time I post. We'll see you next time. Is he deaf? Yeah. No way. I I know sign language, so. I don't think he knows that either. <laughs>